everyone welcome it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland Australia it's coming up Christmas time and I thought I would um, show another way of doing some uh, Christmas decorations that are really nice uh, forever gifts to give away a Christmas decoration to each of your relatives and may, you can put names on them after they've dried you can get the cut out of a name or to give it somebody special that they can have on the tree and say in 20 years time I had this Christmas decoration from yours truly so <clears throat> Capriole Shabby Chic sent me these decorations or these templates for Christmas baubles last year and I didn't get to use them so this is how they come in two pieces which is great because if you decide to embellish from the inside or fill it with whatever lollies or anything or you can do that too but what it is great for is pouring over because you can split them in half and only pour over them while they're like that I like pouring the um, pre-made paints over things like this because they actually really cling to everything quite well. Um, you don't need to do any prep and they really dry quite shiny. <clears throat> if you remember I did my vase, oh, I did my lovely vase in this poured over a glass vase in those um, and it's beautiful really lovely and um, I really fancy these colors so I really would like to do some of the Christmas decorations in actually these colors they don't have to be your traditional do they uh, red gold and silver so um, I think I'm gonna just um, julify them a little bit so they can be for your own, own tree like I said or you, they can um, be for gifts so I've got them set out on a baking tray just so everything um, falls off and goes to the bottom. I suppose I could have set them on a canvas or, um, you know, so the drips all go on a canvas or probably better is a silicon sheet. So I save all my drips for skins. But anyway, I'm going to do this for you today, whether I pour on absolutely all of these that I've got here. There's bell, bell shapes and round ones and all sorts. So I'm just going to try my best. So for a start, I'll just move them back out of the way for a second. And what I will do is load up my little jugs with paint. And uh, I'll pour them over in different ways. But I do want to try... Um, I do want to try just with my ordinary paint doing a um i might do that first before i do anything else i might just try with this one so just move those out of the way i just want to see with the ordinary acrylic i just want to see if i can do a, a like a bloom effect on the one so i will try move those for a minute well actually two because they two go together so i'll try those two so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, ah, I'm going to pour some of this. This is just a very, very pale grey that I had left from a pour I did yesterday. So I'm going to just cover my bauble in the grey paint first. Move it away. This one. I just want to see if I can kind of blow a bloom effect on it. I know the Saskia Smith does lovely bloom effects on um, Iter rocks and things, and I think she does this too, and they're just gorgeous. So, wish me luck. I'm going to try doing it on this. I mean, probably my paint is a little bit thin because um, this was just mixed up for a different purpose, but I'll give it a go. So this one is the Dark Sea, and it is running off very well <laughs> this one is turquoise 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 whoops oopsie days so it doesn't 
matter at this stage. I'm just giving it a little try. This one's phalo blue. And then I will go for gold on top. And oops, 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 oops. I'm gonna try and nice colours anyway. This is the black Amsterdam black mixed with just Australian flow troll. I people ask me oh, about other flow trolls. I've never used any other flow troll because I'm here in Australia, so I don't get the opportunity for the other ones. But anyway, I've got a work quiz with this. Let's see if it'll work. Probably not. Oh, by Jove, it did. Oh. This side's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Jeez Louise. How pretty is those? I know it's got a lot of black on there, but I'll bring you down after that. That's gorgeous round here. So I've got to keep my fingers crossed that it doesn't actually all um, just run off, but I know I've seen Sashkis, Sashkia. And it doesn't seem to with Saskia's, but that's a bit dark there. But it might pop through, so I might just give it a little bit of heat and see if more pops through in the black. I don't want to do. I don't want to disturb it. Okay, that was one anyway. So let's get on with the other ones. I will. Oh, that's pretty underneath. Gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm excited about that. That's pretty good. Pretty nice. So I've got more set up on here so I can just sort of merrily go along. That is so nice. Oh my goodness. If When that's given a, a my wipe on resin or a resin coat, that would really pop. Pop your socks. That is a really nice personal bauble. Bauble. Rightio. Oh, I've got to move this back again. I'm going to load the colours that I would like in um, my pour. Rightio, I'm starting with the gold. So remember, I haven't got to do anything with these because they're already pre-made up. So that's the gold. I'll give a squirt of the black. I might just do one jug at a time that would probably work better um and they give good oh those are coming gorgeous if i'd done my paints actually thicker they the shape would actually probably stay better on them i'm excited about those can you tell <laughs> i would like um I was thinking I would like a darker blue in there too. We'll just see. So this one is the bronze. And then I'll see if I've got a darker blue here. Yeah, I have. I've got the cerulean. I'm so excited about those. They're very pretty. The colours are really, really nice. So this is cerulean. I'm just pouring it in down the side of the um, jug. You'll see what how I sort of go about doing the rest of it. So that was the gold again. That gold is a particularly lovely um, gold. Really dries, so uh, true to colour and bright and shiny. Um, a little bit of blue in there, a little bit more. This paint is quite thick, and that's why I think it's really good at sticking to your surfaces. I might put a bit of the white. I hope you can see all this that I'm loading in there. White. I'll go back to the bronze. Mm. 
can go back to some more of the turquoise and then a little bit of black. I don't want to put too much black in case it overtakes the whole lot. Um, go back to the gold. Oh, that's such a beautiful gold. It really is. Okie doke. So let's get back into position. Put a bit, of white, a bit more white in there. Pull this all back. Maybe I'll turn it around so I've got the ones that I've already done at the back. Or just those two. Those are so pretty. Oh, oh, oh. look at those. Very, very nice. Very happy with those. Rightio. I don't know if I'm going to get all of these poured today with the colours that I've got. But I'll give it a go. Do a few in um, the traditional sort of red and... Gold. I might keep the mm, lovely. Radio. <clears throat> I'll try with the bigger ones. I've got. Oh, it looks like I've got a fair bit of black in there. I hope to goodness it doesn't take over. So I'm just going to kind of do a swirl. And what I'm realising now, because these are a lot smaller, I probably should have done uh, less of the colours, like uh, less colour in between because um, oh that's that is gorgeous i want to bring that back while it's got that wow i love that turquoise in this A lot of black in that so I'll wait till some colour shows up and oh, that's gorgeous that one that blue has made a difference oh look at that blue wow I have to go over this one again because there's not enough paint on this back side. But give a bit more gold to this. If I run out of paint, I'll just start loading my um, jug back up. That's mostly black now. I've put way too much black in it, but at least it'll give it a coat of black and then I can come back over with another colour. And I won't use the black. So the black and gold actually looks really nice too. Gorgeous. Right here, I'm going to load some more colours back in here so I won't use so much of the black. And what I realise is you've got to probably not put as much paint in each time. Oh, oh my goodness, my camera stopped. Plus, I had a call. Oh my goodness, um, I poured the rest of them. I need to pour some paint on. What was that? Oh, I think it's got it on. The bottom of those Christmas bells, just missed a little bit, but they are so gorgeous. I think I might have to put 
paint a bit on the bottom of those bells, which doesn't matter. Um, but the, everything is so gorgeous. I can't believe that I didn't do this last year. Now I'm looking at it thinking, oh, why didn't I do this last year? Because hopefully if these dry perfect, to have a, the gloss or my uh, rub-on um, resin that I've got. Look, I just I just did on one with the, the actual um, Montmartre pouring paint. I just put some of my the one I did the the blowouts with I just put a bit of the black on top of the colors that I did and blew it out and these lovely effects came through and this one look at this one I just it's I'm really happy with them all I want to do more now I've got a few more I've got a few more left I've got just another big one because now I'm thinking I can give each of my kids a special I've got a couple more of these, a special um, Christmas decoration. I've got another one, another size, and I've got these that I want to do for my granddaughter. I want to do the stars for my baby granddaughter to actually make a bit of a Christmas mobile for her. But that'll be another time. But providing those dry perfectly, that is, they're just beautiful. They are, I am so, so happy with those. Look at those. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you really love them. And if you do some too, um, please uh, join our Facebook group with the Australian Acrylic Pouring. You do not have to be Australian. Just have to answer a few questions. And you'll be in like Flynn. What I'm going to do is bring my camera down so I can show you all around these Christmas decorations a little bit better. So here is the loveliness, look at that, that is gorgeous, so hopefully they dry beautifully and this is the one that I did just with the ordinary acrylic paint <coughs> and did the blow, look at the, I mean they have lost the shape a bit from a bloom kind of effect but they're still gorgeous. And look at the sides of this. Look at that. See, in the very black area, I could, um, well, you could, it doesn't really matter. A lot of people, especially from mature people, instead of it looking um, like a kiddie like. And look at these just with the black and gold. I think those are very classy looking baubles. And then my bells. Look at the bells. Gorgeous. This one, that's, and then I did the, another little blow on that egg shape one. And then this, look at this. Oh, it's so lovely, very happy. And so my um, gecko likes them because it's, he's clicking away there. This is like my uh, glass vase that I did. And then this one. So very happy. So I know if these dry and I put the uh, wipe on resin, so they will just be gorgeous. And this particular paint does dry very glossy anyway. So I hope that you enjoyed that and give you some Christmas ideas if that's your thing. And until tomorrow, my lovelies, please take care and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye for now.